up everybody, it's Brian Simmons here with EXP Realty and we are at the trailhead for Upper Table Rock Trailhead and today we are going to talk about two of the most popular hikes in Southern Oregon and uh, what a lot of people might say are the best hikes in Southern Oregon but I'll leave that up to you because I know a lot of people have different ideas of what could be the best whether you want more technical, more scenic or whatever. Uh, but anyways, we're going to hike up Lower Table Rock and Upper Table Rock today and this is the trailhead for Upper, upper Table Rock. Sorry, uh, It's about a mile and a quarter uh, up and about 700 feet of elevation gain. So not a crazy hike but it's definitely one that will get your blood pumping. So uh, we're going to go ahead and check that out but I wanted to give you a couple quick pointers, uh, a little bit of information about this hike before we get started. Um, which is just basically that's a pretty simple hike, it's a very well maintained trail. Um, you don't really need to do a lot of preparation or anything to do this hike. Uh, just maybe a little backpack, uh, some decent hiking shoes, a bottle of water, that type of stuff, and you should be good to go. Um, like I said, about a mile and a quarter all, all the way up, and then um, once you get up on top, you can kind of wander, wander around all you want up there. But anyways, enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and check it out, and I'll give you a little bit more information uh, when we're up there. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we made it up to the top here. It took us just under a half an hour to get here. Uh, again, mile and a quarter, about 720 feet of elevation gain. Super walkable trail, um, very well maintained with gravel. That last section you just saw here at the end with the rocks is probably the most rugged piece of it, uh, which really isn't bad at all. Um, something I wouldn't hesitate to bring my kids up, but uh, you'd be the judge of that. Something to be aware of if you do bring your kids up or if you just you know want to be aware of it in general is poison oak. Okay, There's a lot of poison oak all along the sides of the trail uh, for most of it. And I'll show you some pictures of what, exactly what that looks like this time of year in December. But you really just want to be aware of what that is uh, you know, every time of the year because it definitely can cause a problem if you get into it. Uh, so that's something to be aware of. Also, just make sure that you're aware that there's no dogs allowed uh, on this trail. So there's signs all over the entry, but uh, something you just want to make sure you're well aware of ahead of time. So now I want to show you guys the view because it is absolutely incredible up here. Just such beautiful weather today. And so we're going to show you some really awesome pictures from up here on the top of Upper Table Rock. <music> other points I wanted to tell you about which is number one the elevation up here is about 2,000 feet above sea level so definitely up above the valley floor which is really cool and there's all these great little trails that you can walk around around up here on top of the plateau and the plateau up here is really known for being absolutely spectacular in the spring for wildflowers so the trail is most popular March to May uh, and, and it is just absolutely gorgeous up here. So um, because we're on top of a plateau, um, the, the, there's a lot of this kind of groundwater that settles um, and, uh, and it's because the rock is impermeable, it can't settle in and that creates a really interesting ecosystem. So there's actually a really rare species of shrimp called a fairy shrimp that lives up here in these, uh, in these little pools of water around um, the, the table rock. So really cool thing and like about 300 species of plants and and dozens of species of animals up here, which is really, really unique about the area. So one other really unique thing about Upper Table Rock here is there is a structure over here in the distance that I remember hearing rumors about when I was little about how there's this church up on top of the Table Rock and it's this occult church and all sorts of crazy stuff. Turns out it's not. It's actually just an FAA aviation tower, um, or so they say. We'll see. <laughs> So we are now here at the lower Table Rock Trailhead and something to be on the lookout for if you're heading to this one is it's not marked very well when you're turning off of Table Rock Road onto Wheeler Road. So you just want to keep your eye out for that and I'll show you a map of how you get here uh, on your screen right now, but that's definitely something you want to be on the lookout for. Um, something else to note about this trail is uh, between lower and upper Table Rock trails, they both get about 45,000 um, hikers per year combined. Okay, so that's the total for both trails, about 45,000, which is insane. 
lot of uh, hiking going on here and, and clearly, you know, a very popular trail. So uh, this one is the longer of the two, Lower Table Rock. It's about mile and three quarters. Uh, not quite as steep, but, uh, but it is a little bit longer. So enough about that. Let's hit the trail. Okay, so we made it up to the top of Lower Table Rock and I have to say, first off, I was wrong. This is definitely not the less intense of the two. It was actually probably steeper and definitely longer. So uh, we did make it in about 30 minutes though, so the same time, but I think that was just because we were hustling. So anyways, uh, definitely a little bit more intense on this one in my opinion, uh, but, uh, but it's still a great hike nonetheless. But I wanted to tell you one of the common misconceptions here is that the upper and lower table rocks have something to do with the height of the two. And that's actually wrong. What the names mean, or the, the best way to remember the names that I've been told, is their proximity uh, on the river. And so Upper Table Rock is up river of Lower Table Rock. So if you can remember which way the Rogue River flows, which is from east to west, and you're looking at Table Rocks from the Rogue Valley, Upper Table Rock is on your right, Lower Table Rock is on your left, because that's the way the river flows. So that's important to know. This location of Upper and Lower Table Rock were actually very significant to the uh, local Native Americans that lived here a long time ago, the Tacoma people. Uh, and they say that they were here for over 15,000 years, and that's dated back with um, looking at arrowheads and different things like that and being able to date those. So really a, a significant area uh, for them, and, and they were here all the way up into the 1850s, and so for actually quite a long time, uh, and pretty recent if you think about it, to, to think in the 1850s there were still you know, Native Americans here uh, in this area, which is really, really incredible. Uh, so that brings us to the last point, which is which of these two hikes today is my favorite hike. And I'm going to go ahead and say that it is the lower table rock, this one that we're on right now, because number one, there's less poison oak, which I get by even looking at it. And number two, um, it just it's just, a, a, I think, a little bit prettier viewpoint from up here where you can look off uh, and see upper table rock and Mount McLaughlin and all that sort of stuff in the view. It's really just a spectacular viewpoint. So, so anyways, that's the answer there. Uh, we thank you for watching. It was a lot of fun today. Hopefully you had as much fun watching as we had doing this hike. Uh, and again, I'm Brian Simmons with eXp Realty. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Southern Oregon. So if there's anything I can ever do to help you learn, buy, or list real estate, I hope you won't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at 541-954-7758 and uh, get out here and hike these trails. These are awesome. Both of these, Upper Table Rock, Lower Table Rock, both are wonderful trails. Get out there and hike them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.